What if I told you there's a secret nobody is sharing with you that will ensure your online product listings not only catch fire but also make you some serious cash? Many online entrepreneurs out there are constantly on edge, worried that their hard work might go down the drain. But guess what? There are individuals raking in an astonishing $20,000, $30,000, and even $40,000 every single month by selling products they've never even laid hands on. They don't need fancy sales or marketing skills, and they do it all from home. These people aren't especially creative, and they're not drop shipping cheap items from China. They've simply mastered a system that helps them discover proven products, allowing them to build successful online stores again and again. So how does this system work? It's not difficult at all. First, you pick a platform to sell on. Then, you follow a proven strategy to find numerous top-selling products on that platform. Next, you break down these successful products into their essential elements, which you can use to create your product line. But how do you choose the right platform to sell on? I'm recommending going with a platform that has helped me grow my own multi-million dollar business. I suggest starting your online selling journey on Etsy. Etsy is budget-friendly costing only around 20 cents per listing. Etsy attracts millions of monthly customers to its site, meaning you don't have to spend money on advertising or driving traffic, which makes it a great choice for beginners. Moreover, on Etsy, you have the flexibility to sell custom or pre-made products, and you can offer both digital and physical versions of your items using their print-on-demand feature. This means you can run your entire business from a laptop. Once you've decided to use Etsy as your sales platform, you can easily discover top performing shops and listings with a tool called Allura. While some features of Allura are paid, the one we're using today is free. This best-selling analyzer is a valuable tool for finding profitable products to sell daily. By using this tool, you can quickly identify high-earning shops and listings across various categories on Etsy. To narrow down your search, you can filter out the top shops that align with the type of product you want to sell. For instance, if you're interested in starting a print-on-demand t-shirt business, you can filter the results by the clothing category to see seven- and eight-figure clothing shops on Etsy. When choosing which shops to model your own store after, there are a few key metrics to consider. For example, you can look at the revenue-to-listing ratio, which shows how much money a shop has made compared to the number of products they've listed. Shops that achieve the same revenue with fewer listings tend to be more efficient. Additionally, you can compare how quickly these shops have earned their money. Some shops may reach a certain revenue milestone much faster than others. It's essential to note that quick success doesn't always make a shop a suitable model or inspiration. For example, shops selling trademark material without a license can face legal issues, and you do not want to model after them. The beauty of selling on Etsy is the opportunity to offer digital or print-on-demand products, which can lead to a more passive income stream. Print-on-demand allows you to upload your designs to unbranded products like blank t-shirts and list them in your Etsy shop without having to handle physical products. This way, you can work from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. To get started with Printify, you can sign up for free on their website. Printify connects to your Etsy store, so once a purchase is made in your shop, the product is immediately sent for production, printed and delivered to your customer's doorstep, all automatically. You can sit back and earn passive income. I used to find it amazing that you could run a business generating millions of dollars without handling a physical product. While it's not always entirely hands-off, it's precisely what I desired from an online business. Whether you're selling digital or print-on-demand products, having multiple shops is beneficial, as it broadens your foundation compared to just copying a single shop's approach. With this in mind, I aim to identify around five print-on-demand shops to use as models for my own t-shirt business. I will gather a list of five shops that have collectively earned over several million. From there, I'll analyze their best-selling listings and dissect them to understand their components. If you use Allura, you can analyze these individual shops to see their top performing listings and their earnings. Alternatively, you can find similar information for free on Etsy. Our goal is to identify the best-selling listings, and for this example, we'll focus on one that has sold nearly 2,000 times. To save this listing's image, right-click and copy it. I save all my ideas in a free program called Figma. You can also use Canva if you would like, for creating designs and saving your ideas. Figma does offers more features and functions like a virtual whiteboard which helps to organize your images, so we will go with that. 
I'll paste the image into a new Figma board I've created. In Figma, I can identify the elements I want to extract, such as the mock-up, color choices, fonts, text alignment, and any other details that make this listing successful. For elements like the mock-up, I can search for a similar one on Etsy to use in my shop. To find a specific font, I take a screenshot and upload it to a website like whatfontis.com, which provides a list of the closest matching fonts. I can extract all these elements, and the more I collect, the better. We will combine small elements from various successful listings to create our own products. It is helpful to create a chart to visualize all the elements that make up each listing. As I repeat this process with more listings, I accumulate more elements. The great part is that these elements have already proven to work for shops that have already done the research and are successful. By drawing ideas from a hundred successful listings, you're not directly copying anyone. Once we've collected these elements from individual listings, we can reconstruct them into our own unique products. Instead of creating just one listing at a time, we'll make product templates. For example, I can use the cats and reading concept from one listing, the Amalfi font from another, and a white color on a red mock-up from yet another. Then, I can use the formatting from a different design and write cats and knitting, resulting in a completely new design. For future ideas, I can simply swap out knitting for something else, like napping, and generate even more designs using the same template. I kept things simple, but I could have made them more complicated if I wanted to. Sometimes, the simplest designs like these can bring in the most money. When you start combining multiple elements from different listings, your products might start to look like copies rather than originals. You want to be sure you are not directly copying another work. Creating a good template using these elements is the most challenging part, but if you do it right, the rest becomes easy. You can easily replace the content in your template with something else. If you've made it this far in the video, the most challenging work is behind you. Listing your products correctly is essential for making sales. The most critical factors for success on platforms like Etsy are the title and tags. To find the right titles and tags, check out similar products from the shops that inspired you and see what keywords and tags they use. If you list enough products with good titles and tags, you will start getting the sales you want. This method isn't simple, but it tips the odds in your favor for achieving massive success. I can guarantee that if you carefully follow the method in this video and list enough products, you will make sales. Don't forget, growing a business like this takes time and effort in the beginning to set everything up. If you're willing to put in the effort, you can achieve amazing results. Remember, some successful shops have thousands of listings, and if you want to have a million-dollar business, you might need to create thousands of listings as well. This is the process I used to build Etsy brands that generated millions of dollars, and I hope it works for you too. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more valuable content. Your support means the world too and keeps this channel going.